Ah, the conqueror of Coppervale returns. Coppervale was the mine that I did on the duty. So this is right yard again. We're back on the story. Thanks to you, our mining operations can resume, and Old Dawn will have the material she needs to rebuild. The entire nation's your dead friend. I'll share the good uh, tidings with Papa Sean the next time I see him. As for you, you'll have to report to Mo Modi. I'll do the woman. It'll do the woman to see you alive and in one piece. Giant. See? No. Shut your mouth, you even little swine. You stole from me. Don't even try it. Think to deny it. Please, I didn't steal nothing. My pop is paid for What? Rot. Refugees are all the same. I'm not going to make more than me. Much less a choice. Cut. Don't. Don't. I'm going to say it one more time. Give back what you stole or I'll make you wish you never set foot in this town. By rights, I should turn you over to the brass blades, you know? Help keep the need safer law-abiding citizen, but I'm a reasonable man. If you agree to serve me in what a, whatever capacity I require, it or this mean hero of you, of your crime. <laughs> oh, really? I got nothing wrong. Well, that's my bit. That's my business. Please, Avenger, help me, I beg you. I swear on my mother's grave, I didn't steal nothing. I bought this with the coin I saved. So, I only wanted to treat me chilled into a decent meal. By the Galka. And who the hell are you? Are you when you're at home? The dog's, this dog's master. This dog's master? I had enough of this mummer's force. You lot, teach them a lesson.
right you are here. As you can tell, that was another duty with the boss thing. And I probably recorded without the audio. So yeah. Hopefully we... I ain't, pay, I ain't getting paid enough for this. Ew. Where the hell is you going? <laughs> Thank you, kind adventure. Thank you, twice over. Thrice over. Uh oh. I'm going bleep bleep. And then, um. That cutscene was after the, the battle of the duty. I swear there were more refugees than when I last looked. And you wouldn't be mistaken. But it's been five years since the calamity. Why are they only coming here now? Simple, really. While a number of har hamlets survived the immediate alternate of the calamity, many were no, were no longer able to support their communities. The residents found their lands had either been re rendered barren or cut off from trade routes, and problems like those aren't easily solved. Though they tried to make the best of it, it was only a matter of time before they were forced to abandon their homes and seek a new life in the city. I see. But the calamity affected the whole realm, didn't it? If the same thing happened in the other cities. If the talk is true, yes. Though perhaps their situation is more pronounced. Hold on. Hold on. Has a reputation for being prosperous, so it's natural that the refugees would try their luck here first. My heart goes out to them. It truly does, but I would be lying if I said that I wasn't apprehensive. I hope their presence doesn't for ferment lawlessness in the city. Well, if things do take a turn for the worse, we always have the immortal flames. I dare say the brass blades would welcome their help. The heroes who fought the Garland Empire patrolling the, st the streets for Riff Raff? It may well come to that. Impoverished and desperate as they are, you may be sure that some of the refugees will turn to crime. You know what this place is like. You've no coin. If you got no coin, you, you've no hope. Uh, what will become of our city? Not all refugees are bad, mind you. Some are able to... <sighs> Excuse me. Find employment and lead honest lives. Dodo tenderloins. Get your Dodo tenderloins guaranteed cheapest in Thanalan. Thank you for your custom, madam. Please come again. Looking sound, you think that old that was well on its way to recovery. But peer through in the bale of prosperity and you'll see no end to misery and suffering. Okay, what was that a cutscene for? You yes, sir, are you alright? I don't know, I can't do a gross voice. What now? You mean to threaten a defendless citizen? What? What? Sell her buy that meat, you say? That's absurd. I, as, as did I, leave the poor woman alone, you damna, damnable but vulture. Who said that? Arr, I will look, overlook these, but 
just these ones. God bless you. I venture if he hadn't come along when you did, who knows what the monster might have done. I don't bear thinking it about thinking about it. I need those. Ever the selfless hero I see. Oh no, it was a girl. It has been a while, adventurer. I have been watching you closely ever since you flew out of Limsa and Lominsa. You discharge your duty at the Admiral's personal envoy with admirable hum humility. And you have displayed unfaltering courage in the face of danger ever since. Whensoever you came upon those in need, you gave them succor with no thought of personal gain. In summary, you have demonstrated all the qualities we seek in an adventure. For reasons I can out well explain, your every deed seems unbearable to serve for the general good, whether you mean it to or not. It is happy neck, and one which speaks volume of your character. Yet, for all the unmemorable qualities, it is your gift which intrigues me most. I speak for the visions you experience. Visions like the one you had mere moments ago. If I am not mistaken, I can provide you with the means to understand them. An acquaintance of mine is blessed with the self-same talent, you, you see. If you so desire, I can introduce you to her. She and I fight for a common cause. A cause which would greatly benefit for your support. From your support. If you would agree to lend us your strength, we would, should be glad to do all within our power to aid you in your personal endeavors. Thank you, Vidin. Think of my offer a while. Should you decide to accept it, pray speak with Mo Momodi, the proprietress of the quicksand, a close friend of and an uh, ally of ours. Shaisa. Inform her that you have been chosen by the science of the seventh dawn, and she will tell you where to find us. Oh, so those are part of the story of the science of the science of the... Well, that was not me. Hmm. Things like things are becoming even more common, I'm afraid. Don't worry, though. If you work hard, you'll probably be all right. Saying that, if you ever find yourself a spot of bother, come and see me. Just don't go pestering me every time you grace your knee, okay? Of course, I do enjoy hearing all the gentlemen's woes of the wonderful woman folk from time to time. Oh, that was another adventurer. Wonder who that was. Ah, right you are. Sorry to keep you waiting. I was providing guidance to a fresh of the carriage, carriage adventure. But God, if, it, if it's good to see you safe and well to look at you, no one would ever guess you've been hard at it with giants in the dark. You are very... Um... Elm, the adventurer, Mion, Mion said you'd be at Briard. The station master will be over here when he hears the news. Oh, before I forget, there's a lassie who wants to work with you. Didn't, I, didn't actually know your name, but hearing her description, I knew who she meant right away. Huh, who's that? Thank you for sparing the time. I realize you don't know me, but I've been longing to speak with you for a, for a while now. Really? My name is Etta. I am a venture like you, though I am not very good at being one. If truth be told, anyway, I was adventuring with my friends in Gridania when, when I'm sorry, we were in Gridania when the leader of our party was killed. His name was Abiri, and he and I were, were to be wed in spring. 
you may not remember him but to say that he remembered you would be an understatement he would sing your praises down to dusk from dawn to dusk he saw you for what you are you see an adventurous adventure and swore that he would be like you one day I believe that he would be he would have succeeded had a fiend not robbed him of the chance since that day I have thought long and hard about giving up adventuring but when I think uh, of the man you are of all that you've achieved I find that I'm inspired just as every once was and so I've decided to start again as an adventurer and I will go back to the village of my birth and begin my training anew but I wanted to meet you first to ask your name Briar Art Drist I shouldn't forget it thank you Briar Art Drist I pray that we will meet again. Fare you well. Adventure can be cruel, ble bleeding business. Time was. I didn't know why anyone would bother. When they first asked me to take charge of the girl here, I didn't want anything to do with you lot. I thought be a right, be a right pain in the arse looking at after you all. But again, my better judgment, I decided to accept the post, but I am glad I did. I feel privileged to be part of your life. And that goes double for yours, right, Rock? Yeah, yeah, you do the, yeah. Hey, hey, what did you say? You want to know all about signs of the Seventh Dawn? They're beginning to move in the list then listen my York the science are no ordinary folk and the work they do no ordinary work I only I know full well how capable you are but you but even you would think twice about tenting some of this stuff they all they do knowing that if you're still certain you want to get involved I'll tell you what I can yes I would like a lot of XP and some potions, thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't want hard leather belt. Oh wait, I do want color. Oh, class of 16. Disciple War. Uh, I'm gonna go with... Uh... Well, I would rather be a fighter. Yeah, so... Yeah. We found with the chaos in the wake of calamity, the townsfolk were needing help in the more than ever. Especially accomplished adventurers like yourself. So you want to know more then, do you? Well... Ain't that a surprise? I saw a painted certain death on one door and limitless wealth on the other. Mine, 9 out of 10 adventurers would go through the first, and then the other bloke wouldn't be able to choose, on account of being old on. Don. Anyway, don't say I didn't warn you. First of all, you're wondering whether you can trust these signs of 7 Don, can you? You can. They're good people who made their mission to solve some of the Earth's most pressing problems. Of course, that ain't no small task, so they've always looking for dependable individuals to join them. Individuals like you, right, right? Now, I've given you leave to tell you where to find the science, but you must promise to keep this information to yourself. As you can probably imagine, it's something Earth's enemies would very much like to know. The signs of the headquarters in Vesper Bay, out in Western Talanen, the place you're looking for is called the Waking Sands. Give your name to whoever's at the entrance and you'll be, you'll be laden. 
You're a man in demand for your art, and these days ahead promise to be busy, but I hope you won't forget about them as you help make you into an adventurer. You are. Drop in and tell me how you're faring from time to time. You hear? Right, well, I've said my piece. On you, off you go. Okay, so I have to go there. Okay, well, sorry my uh, reading was so lousy, but uh, I'll show you guys when I get there to try to stay with the story, but thanks for watching. Bye.